Pi-hole is a great tool that you can use to keep ads from coming into your network. It works on the server side, so unlike a browser extension like Adblock Plus, it filters out ads before they even arrive on your browser at all. It has a list of domains that are known to send ads, and if it sees your computer reach out to one of those domains, it just does not give you the information that they return. So it's a great way to filter out ads, and it's very easy to set up on a Raspberry Pi. So let's, uh, let's see what it's all about. So right here, I just have a Wall Street Journal page open, and we're going to see the difference before and after. You take a look, there's a big ad here, there's, um, there's a little banner down there, there's another ad there, and there's some sponsored stuff down here. Now, I'm not sure exactly what all Adblock is going to, uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm not sure what all Piehole is going to do about that, but we will find out. So there, so here's the website. I will link it below. Uh, there are a few different ways to do it, but the way we're going to go with here is method two, manually download the installer and run. So I have an uh, SSH session open, and this is the same server that's running my NAS that we set up a couple of videos ago. Uh, one thing that I did have to do was change Open Media Vault. Uh, I'll, well, I'll show you exactly what I did. So by default, Open Media Vault uses port 80, but uh, that's not going to be available once we get uh, this thing installed. So I had to move it to port 81, which I did just right here in General Settings, change the port to 81 and save. That way, if anyone goes straight to .102, the page doesn't load because there's nothing hosted there yet. That's where Pi-hole is going to live. We'll just open up this guy and see what we can do. Going to run this. And that was pretty quick. And then we're going to run this. This installer will transform your device into a network-wide ad blocker. Donate if you want to. It needs a static IP address, which we already have. Uh, Ethernet 0 is the correct port that I'm using. I want to use OpenDNS as my DNS provider. So I don't want Google looking at everything. Um, Pi-hole relies on lists. To deselect any list, check below. I don't see a reason to deselect anything, so I'm just going to tab and enter on OK. Uh, IPv6 doesn't matter, but doesn't hurt anything. We'll keep all that going. You want to use your current network settings as static. It actually already is static, and that is my gateway, so that's correct. This is talking about if you have an older router, it can cause issues. I'm not worried about that. Do I want to install a web web admin interface I do so we'll say okay do you wish to install the web server I do do you want to install log queries yes um just go with the default on that and let it go all right configure your devices to use Pi-hole as their DNS server and I'll give you an ad, admin web page login password, which is important. So you want to copy that. I'm just going to put it in a little note here. And OK. So now, if I go to that page that wouldn't load before, you can see the pie holes running and add a slash admin on there. And we can uh, take a look at the setup for it. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to paste in that password. It's a lot of stuff. You can whitelist sites, you can blacklist sites, you can uh, disable the ad blocker, you can update different things. There's your network settings. Uh, yeah, all it sees is this computer and my router, and that's all well and good. I'm looking to change that password. 
And it looks like the only way to change your password is through the command line. So it's going to still have that SSH open. I hold minus A minus P, enter new password. New password is set. So um, let's see, I'll refresh here. Yeah, it logged me out because it recognized the wrong password. So now I'll put in my new password and there we are. Okay, so this is all of the things that you can do within Pi-hole, but before we can see it doing anything, we have to set our devices to use Pi-hole as our DNS server. So you want to log into your router and this interface is going to be different depending on the brand and make of your router. But somewhere in there you're going to see DHCP settings. Now this part's kind of important. I can change my network DNS. I don't want to do that. I found that out the hard way. If you point your network DNS to a server that's within your network, instead of reaching out across the internet, it gets confused and it doesn't like that. And it will try to change the network address and all kinds of problem. What you're looking for is to change the DNS that it's giving out through DHCP. So that is done right here. And what we want to do is give 192.168.1.102. I will save that. And now any device that connects through DHCP will use the Pi Hole as its DNS server. If it uses a static IP, you're going to have to manually change that. So just to make things go a little bit quicker, I'm going to exit out here. I am going to change my DNS server right here. So if I change this to use 102 as my name server, Let's save that. Make sure I can still do stuff like that. And so DNS is still working. That's why I'm testing there. And you can see there's been queries on the DNS now. So things are things are happening. Let's open up Chromium. And go back to Wall Street Journal. And there we go. So that's more like it. Uh, it still has the subscribe today banner because that's local to the site and it's hosted on wsj.com which it's not going to block but the ad that was up here is gone and if you scroll on down there was another ad that was in this column that is also gone and if you scroll further down the sponsored links and sponsored offers remain because they're hosted within the wall street journal site so it doesn't get rid of anything and everything, but it does remove ads network-wide with very little effort. And the great thing about this is you don't have to install an extension on every browser. Any device on your network that uses DHCP is going to benefit from this ad blocker. That means your tablet, that means your phone, that means your laptop, that means any guest that's uh, that's connecting to your network uh, through the Wi-Fi, they're all going to use your newly created DNS server that's going to block ads from their devices. And you can always, if there's something, if there's some reason you would want to see an ad, you just go into this admin console, log in, and you can disable it. So you can see, look at that. There's been 140 queries in this little time. 80 of them have been blocked. That's amazing. There's been, in this little time, it's blocked 80 attempts to deliver an ad to this network. And that is just what you've seen me do. So you can see block domains, two from Google. All of this has happened in just a couple of minutes. So, you want to keep your network clean from ads, 
install Pi-hole. It's good stuff. So that's a simple install, and I think the benefits are well worth the trouble. Uh, thanks so much for joining me here on Fairly Basic Tech. Like and subscribe if you see fit, and I will see you next time. Thanks.